Hey everyone, it's Bea and welcome to my first ever video tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to do this soft glam look but before that I'm going to tell you a little bit of me I began exploring the world of makeup summer of 2014 when I took a class under Carlos Durana who by the way is a famous makeup artist here in Macaulay, a go-to. Okay, so I set up this YouTube channel because I truly and deeply understand the struggles of Filipinas and Macaulanias of finding affordable, accessible, and of quality makeup here in Macaulay. Since we don't have that much wide range of makeup products compared to Manila and of course, broad. With that said, rest assured that most of my makeup that I'll be featuring are affordable, accessible, and of course of quality, especially for us students and aspiring makeup artists. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. First, I'm going to apply my Pond's BB Cream. This will serve as my moisturizer and my makeup base. For my concealer, I'm using Fashion 21's Concealer Slash Foundation Stick in Almond. For my foundation, I'm using Maybelline's Dream Satin in B2. Whenever I use liquid foundations, I always put it on my hand as a palette and use stipple brush to apply. When using your stipple brush, blend your liquid foundation in a circular motion for an even application. To highlight, I'm using Fashion 21's Concealer Foundation Stick in Light Beige. Just draw a triangle from your lower lash line to your cheek. Don't forget to also highlight your chin, the bridge of your nose, your forehead, and of course your brow bone. Since I have a bigger forehead, I just drew little strokes to avoid making it look wider. Now, let's contour away those fats with Fashion 21's Concealer Foundation Stick in Warm Tea. If you're new to contouring, just make a fishy face to enhance the shadow below your cheekbone. This will serve as your guide to draw your contour. Minimize the size of your forehead by contouring. And don't forget to sculpt your nose. To set it all up, I'm using Maybelline's Dream Satin Pressed Powder in B3. And we're now ready to make those brow games strong. Grab your spool and brush those stray strands in place. Using Maybelline's Brow Crayon, I'm filling in the sparse areas of my brows. When filling in, I like to use light feathering strokes so that it will look more natural. I am now spreading the brow crayon with my DIY angled brush. It used to be a concealer brush turned angled brush. I bought a set from Kenko World for only 20 pesos. I like using a hard bristled brush for this because the material is easier to spread. To sharpen things up, I am using BYS Brow Gel in Bold Brunette with a finer angled brush. Draw on the lower brow line and the upper brow line. I always use this brow gel to draw the tail of my brow. With a spool, brush up the drawn gel so that your brows won't look harsh. Brow game strong and not so strong. For my eyeshadow base, I'm using Victoria's Secret Eyeshadow Kit in No Name, so I'm just gonna call it Baby Pink, and I'm covering all of my lid. 
for my transition shade, I'm combining again with No Names, Baby Pink and Pinkish Red Shadow by Chi Chi Cosmetics. With a windshield wiper motion, apply it on your crease, reaching the lid and brow bone. To define the crease, I'm using a dark brown shade, still by Chi Chi Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna concentrate the pigment on my crease. Back to my lid, I'm filling it in with this whitish gold shade with shimmer, starting from the inner corner of my eye, feathering out for a soft finish. Smoke out the lower lash line with a pinkish red shade and dark brown on the outer corner to define it. To make my eyes pop, I'm highlighting the inner corner of my eye, tear duct, and brow bone. With Maybelline's gel eyeliner, I'm drawing a guide for my wing. Using Fashion 21's liquid eyeliner, I'm filling in the triangle that I made and proceeded on lining my lash line. Make your eyes perky by adding this pink glitter eye cream on your lower lash line and silver glitter on your brow bone. This is especially perfect for the upcoming Mascara Festival. Right now, I'm volumizing my lashes with Rimmel's Scandal Eyes. Fossey's time, I love love this part so much because it makes such a huge difference to the eyes. To stick it, I'm using Fashion 21's Eyelash Adhesive. Okay, oh my gosh, segue time. When I went falsies searching, I found out that the best place to buy your falsies here in Bacolod is at Gaisano in downtown. It's really cheap and gorgeous. I'll talk more about it with you in my future video. To make things interesting, I'm lining a silver liner just below the black wing. Last but not least, I'm using Fashion 21's white eyeliner for my waterline. For my contour, I'm using this kit by Smashbox. First up, I'm bronzing up my face and onto the actual sculpting. You could also grab BYS. Contour Trio, which is available in SM. When I contour, I usually concentrate the pigment just below the cheekbone. Be sure to highlight your under eye area, your forehead, and your chin. Create the illusion of having a long nose by contouring the sides and highlighting the bridge and the ball of your nose. Blush up with BYS Coral Me In. Lightly pat the brush onto your cheek for a soft blush. Of 
For the glowing effect, I'm using the whitish gold shimmer eyeshadow and sweeping it in with my fan brush on my cheekbone, upper lip line, nose, and chin. See the difference? Glowing skin versus plain skin. Lippy Lippy. I'm applying 4U2's lipstick in SHF 01. Since I'm all about that glow, I'm glossing it up with my Revlon Color Stay. And we're done! This is the Soft Glam Plus Glowing Skin Final Look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something from this awkward newbie right here. Mm-hmm. That's me. Comments and suggestions are very much appreciated. No hate, just love. Till next time.